in the previous video we talked about CAM systems in general. What are they used for? Now let's look at SprutCAM. We'll start from the beginning. In the main window we can observe the graphic window itself and the toolbars, which are located on the top and on the side. In the first drop-down panel we can see the information about the system, version, license which is currently installed, and the most important point here is settings. In the settings window, we customize the system for ourselves. Here we can customize the user interface view to fit our needs, as well as here the project saving paths, 3D model files, parts blanks, import paths. Also, where the finished project and C code are saved and where the post processes that we use are located. There are a lot of tabs and every separate parameter of the system is adjusted. After setup, we can save this configuration in the file, which we can load later. Next thing about the main panel is creating of a project, loading of an existing one and saving of a project with a new name. This panel is responsible for enabling smart snaps. It allows to attach to individual nodes. 3D models and flat drawings when moving any element. Next, there are two types of measurement tools. There is also a possibility to launch the post processor and machining report. These two elements are responsible for access control. This item, the analysis of the rest material. And the last item is tool reach inspector. If we load tool adapter as a 3D model, then elements of this adapter will control our set here. That is about the upper panel. Also, there is a drop-down panel in which we can launch, for example, the add-in manager. In add-in manager, we can configure the integration with CUT and the information directly transferred from the CUT to the COM. Also, here are duplicated some of the functions that we have already seen on the main panel, such as post-processor, reports, etc. The next element with question mark is all that is associated with help. Content help, knowledge base, welcome page in information system. Also here you can contact our support and launch the tutorial for self-mastering the system. The right panel is responsible for controlling the visibility of elements that are present in the working window. Show all if we work, for example, with a Lotha. We perform turning operations. You can make it visible by three quarters so that you can see how the processing goes inside the part, for example, with internal drilling or boring. This controls the display of elements like shade, shade plus wire, wire, ambient occlusion. Here is the view management, top view, left and right views, isometric view. Next, a set of filters of individual geometric elements, for example, uh, regarding the parts that we load. The first is to show all the geometry. This means that on the model tab all the geometry is the part itself. The 3D model of the workpiece, if it exists, also a 3D model of wise, tacks, clumps, etc. Further, the visibility of the part. Next, visibility of job assignment. This is if we machine, for example, some separate surfaces in separate operations. Workpiece visibility. And the visibility of the result of machining. Visibility of the tool and adapter. Enable disable snap visibility. Enable disable machine if it's chosen and we are not using the abstract scheme. Display of toolpaths in calculated operations. And the visibility of individual elements of the three dimensional model itself, which we machine. For example, in this case, the visibility of points, segments, grids, surfaces, and edges. We looked at the interface further. I want to say about the principles of workflow in SportCom. The work is carried out in the order of the tabs. The first is the model tab where we load the necessary model for machining. We can also load a workpiece, snap, if necessary we can draw any additional elements, for example for simple drawings, which we will later use in machining. We can use the built-in to decut. We can enable it here. 
An additional item appears in an additional folder in the tree. Further, after we have loaded the model, if necessary we can transform it. Move relative to the designed coordinate system, scale, copy. The next thing we do is switch to the machining tab and in it we are programming the machining process itself. We select the operation, fill in the parameters of the operation based on the modes, the tool, etc. And the last point is simulation. In this mode we will look at how the material is being machined. That is, how the tool moves, how the material is removed. This is the workflow of SprutCam.